hi you guys welcome back to my garden in today's video we're going to be planting up the window box and the concrete urns to sit on my patio i still have my hollowbore plants in there that were from the spring plantings but i'm ready to transition my garden over from this look into what it's going to be wearing for spring now i am going to go in i'm going to remove all of the plants i wish i had a remote that i could just easily just flip from season to season you know because it's very fun to put all of these things together and then you enjoy them and then as the season starts to turn your garden starts to transition then all of a sudden you have to go in remove everything but if we just had that magic remote whoo wait a minute let's see if this thing works It works you guys let's see if this will work on the concrete arms you guys ah! so I guess this remote does work after all now that we have everything cleaned out what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to start planting everything up. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to start with planting up my concrete urns first. So let's go ahead and start with those first. Remote came in handy. And I'm going to give the Super Tonya Vista Bubblegums a haircut in both of the concrete urns. What that's going to do is it's going to encourage them to put on a thicker growth. Now, right now, they're very leggy. And that's okay because once I go in and I give them the haircut, they're going to start to bush out even thicker. They're going to have blooms everywhere because they've been sitting in the plant can for weeks almost maybe over a month you guys waiting to get planted up but my spring show looked too well and lasted too long for me to go in and pull anything out so let's go ahead and let's prune these up i'm just going to use some simple pruners you guys come on let's go clip these off so we'll start with this one over here and then we'll move over and get the other one that we have the concrete urns planted up the only thing we have yet to focus on is our window box so it is starting to get a little bit dark we'll come back in the morning time and we'll talk about this box now it is a little bit dirty here from the plant debris get started I want to get in and show you guys this window box here because oftentimes you know when you're looking at something through the lens of the camera you know you don't actually see the details I did not show the installation of the window box so oftentimes people say oh you need to brace your window box so let's get in and let me show you what it looks like so we have three brackets here matter of fact come on so I can show you guys too for to help put things into perspective. With the window box, you have a bracket here, you have a bracket here, 
and then you also have a bracket right here look underneath there is a bracket there there is a bracket there and there is also a bracket right there on the end three brackets is what keeps the window box a bay and it supports all of the way in the window box now it looks maybe that it's not supported but that's the beauty of this window box you guys now i got this window box from sherwood's forest nursery over in st louis and you guys when i tell you this window box have not disappointed it has not disappointed so let's go ahead and start popping the plants inside of this beautiful window box i'm going to add a scoop real quick This beautiful dahlia right here, it looks very beautiful. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, let's swap these around here. Because I really want my tallest one to be in my center. And, okay. Okay. So I want my biggest and my fluffiest one to be in the center. And I'll, I'll go in and I'll adjust those as well. Um, but, you guys, this dahlia is very beautiful. But I need a more heavier weighted piece. So what I'm going to do, because I have a flat of these dahlias here. These dahlias. That one back in this plant can. And I'm going to swap it out for a different type of dahlia. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in... And I am going to look for where I have a cross section at, right? And I'm going to go in and I'm going to just cut. Now, you want to be careful because you don't want to cut the tubers. Let's break this open. Right? Okay, so now we've got one plant right here. Right? If we look at our dahlia right here, right? If we look at this, it's beautiful. The colors are vibrant. It's giving everything that we want our summer to be, right? But it is not giving us the impact that we need. Example, we pop this out of the plant can, right? We come back up to the window here. We put this in. It's not giving nothing, honey. It's not even giving us thanksgiving dinner honey it's not even giving us brunch we don't want that honey we want a steak sandwich with all the helpings on the side i mean loaded mashed potatoes and that good bread that come with it when you go to the steakhouse that's what we want our window box to give we want it to just be over the top just extra for no reason now y'all know me you guys know me you guys okay so let me tell you something if you guys are new to my channel welcome if, if this is your first time clicking on garden queen over here i want to welcome you first and foremost but be prepared for every time that a video drops and it has something to do with a container baby we are going to take it over the top if it has something to do with a planting we're going over the top okay now I'm not done yet. It's cute. It's cute, but it's not giving what we needed to give right now, okay? So why stop? The window box is done. As you guys can see, it's overgrown. So we're gonna come in and just like we did the urns, we're also gonna come in and we're gonna cut back this leggy growth from the Super Tunia Vista bubble gums.
talk about what we planted up here. We went in with my favorite evergreen of all time, a Taylor Juniper, you guys. I found these, you guys, I want to say in February, and they've been sitting here waiting to get planted up, which I did have an alternate for this window box planting. If I was not able to get my hands on a Taylor Juniper, I had an alternate, which would have just simply been a North Pole Arbor Vitae that's in the front as well. We used the beautiful Dahlia. We also went in, we used a lemon coral sedum, and we alternated that with a Super Tunia Vista bubble gum. Now, yes, the Dahlia as well as the bubble gum is pink, but you guys, we're still going to be able to get a beautiful show out of all of the plants that we used here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Where's that remote?